Hello guys and welcome back to our Savan project. In the last three videos, we saw how we can scrape top charts from different languages. In this video, we will see how to organize our script in a more systematic and a cleaner manner. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So I'm just copying this previous script into a new file and here we will create some functions and put this data into them to give this script a more cleaner view. So the first function will be to print all the choices. So def print choices and what it will do is it will take all the choices and print them in different lines so to print a dictionary we will use a for loop for SNO that is serial number in choice print we will use format function to print things so first thing will be SNO and the second one will be choice SNO and we will use this curly braces to print them and here let's put a dot after serial number so let me comment out the remaining things and we'll focus only on this function first so let's call print choice function now I'm running this script oh well there's a typo here so let me correct it and running it again you can see that we got all the choices right here but these are not in order because dictionary doesn't maintain its order let's run it again and you can see that every time we run the script the order changes continuously so what we can do is we can pass this in sorted function so for serial number in sorted choice and it will sort this dictionary by keys that is this one two three four five etc and if we save it and run it again you can see that we got the answer in sorted format and no matter how many times I print it it will, all, it will always be sorted here Remember that the original dictionary will not be changed, only it will be sorted while we are printing it here. So we don't just print choices here, what we will do is we will ask user for the choice also. So let me copy this and paste it here. And after asking user for choice it will return the language that is return choice ch okay so this thing is done so i am deleting this part now what we can do is we can create another function that will be get songs and it will take an argument that will be language and it will return all the songs related to that language so instead of choice ch that is our language here we will change it to lang and rest of the things 
will remain same and after getting all the songs we will return all songs now this part of code will print all the songs so we can create another function that will be print songs and we will print the song using this function okay it will take an argument that will be all songs now we can create another function to call all these functions you can name it whatever you want I am naming it seven songs okay so the order of execution will be this first function first that is print choice so we'll call print choice first and it will return language and we will store it in a variable called lang then we will call get songs and pass this language and what it will return is all songs and we will store it in all songs you can name this variable anything that you want but I have kept the name same as that of here now we just have to print songs and it doesn't return anything so just calling this print song okay so the script is done let's see how it works well you can see that we got nothing since we have to call this seven songs function so I'm calling seven songs and let's see if we enter one that is English we get something and let's see here we have opened English songs and if we look at some of the last entries we can see that these ones matches to our result let's try running it for Hindi ones too so for Hindi we'll press 2 and you can see that it matches right here so our Hindi is working fine too and similarly as we saw the last time all the five will work correctly let's see for Punjabi once more and yeah it matches right here so our script is working fine and you can see that it looks a bit more cleaner now well it's up to you that you can extend this script to whatever level you want you can scrape featured playlists you can scrape new releases you can scrape all amble albums or whatever you want but for this project I am summing this up right here since it was a beginner project I hope you understood how web scraping works and how we can scrape different web pages from a single website by changing just few arguments in the URL it's all about close observation and finding the common elements and then using the library itself to get the data so that's it for this project guys but I'll be back with some more exciting projects and other cool stuff if you have any idea regarding any project that you want to see on this channel recommend in the comment section below and I'll try to come up with one. Till then, 
stay tuned bye bye and have fun with python